What's up guys, it's Tetsu45 and I'm bringing you a mod showcase. So today's mod showcase is the Falling Meteors mod made by Wartaves. I will put Wartaves YouTube in the description below and I will put the mod in the description below. So it's only for Android users, so I'm sorry iOS, but yeah, let's get to it. So basically this mod adds meteors and wow that, that voice crippled though. And it adds three new blocks and new armor and new tools, so it's pretty cool. And a new mob as well. So let's get to it. I'm going to explain each block and what they do. And they're, they're ores too. So let's start off with the meteors. So the meteor block, they are, uh, this is a normal meteor that can fall. So the meteors do randomly spawn. So this is the meteor block. The meteors will spawn and they will spawn with this block and you can mine it. And when you mine it, you will get the meteorite chips. And to get them, and to, the meteorite chips are used to make the tools for meteorites. So basically every time a meteorite drops, a mob called the Meteor Creeper will spawn. Let me spawn him here. Okay. A mob called the Meteor Creeper will spawn. And this is the Meteor Creeper. So you can explode, I guess. Or I can just do that. So as you saw that, the Meteor Creeper do spawn, does spawn when a meteor, a, a spawn meteor. No, hint that I, I said this. That when a meteor randomly spawns, a spawn meteor, meaning when, or when a meteor randomly spawns. A charge or not charge a meteor creeper will spawn with them. You can kill them and you will get red meteor gems. And the meteor gems and the chips are used for multiple reasons. First off, first off, I'm gonna show you this block. So this block is called the meteor shield. Now it is in beta, but basically what it is is you put it around your house so meteors don't spawn on your house. So yeah, to activate it, you need red meteor gems and meteor chips. Just click it with each one, doesn't matter what order, and you can click, and then once you click it with one of them, with one of them, click it with the other item, and then bam, you will see the thing up. So it is in beta, and it does protect you from meteors, so it's pretty cool, so I suggest you spawning more around. So it's, now let's get off to the tools. So before, I want to say, I want to say one thing, I want to say one thing. So the, the, what's it called? For every one of these blocks, you can craft tools except this one, this one, all you can craft is a, is a sword. But basically, the meteor, the pickaxes, the axes, the spades, they all do the same thing. They just mine the certain thing that they mine faster. So the pickaxes for meteorites, and this one's called freezerite, mine stone faster. And the axes were the same thing, mine wood faster, and all woods. And the shovels were the same thing, mine everything that shovels are supposed to be mine, mining with. Okay, and yeah. So first off, I'm going to show you what the meteor sword does. And then I'll show you how to craft it. And it's the same crafting for everything. So the meteor sword is a insta kill for every mob. And to craft the meteor sword, you will need this is the same recipe for everything, but yeah, you will need meteor chips and iron ingots. To craft every other meteor tool, you will need iron ingots. The iron ingots is a replacement for the stick, and the meteor chips is a replacement for whatever it is. So yeah, you need iron ingots and meteor chips to make the tools. And to make the armor, so the armor is pretty cool. So to make the armor, it's just, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, oh, wait, never mind, sorry. Okay, this armor is buggy, basically meaning that it, it, for some reason, you can't craft it, so you'll need to hack it in. But basically, to put it on, you tap the ground, and then bam. So this armor makes you invincible, so you can't really die from anything, and that's pretty cool, and you can't get burned with this armor, so that's even cooler. Oh, never mind, you can't get burned, but you just, you're just invincible. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, and to take off the armor, it's just normal. You just go here and just click it, and yeah, you're done. Okay. So next up, we have the Cryo Knight. So the Cryo Knight is pretty cool. Again, it is a meteor that spawns randomly, and you mine this block to get basically the Cryo Knight. So again, to mine all these blocks, or not again. I forgot to mention to mine all these blocks, you need a diamond pickaxe. So yeah, so. It, it would be worth getting a diamond pickaxe to mine every block to get its items and get OP items. So the Creo Knight, you can use to craft the Creo Knight Sword. And the Creo Knight Sword, what it basically does is it puts mobs on fire, and that's all it really does. So to get the Creo Knight, you have to mine these blocks. And to craft the Creo Knight Sword, you will need two Creo Knights and a stick, and that's it. And it does have armor. So let me take out the armor. The armor is different than all the other ones, and it doesn't work for some reason, but it's just like normal armor. You put on normal armor. You just put it on like that. For some reason, it has no ability as of I know of, but yeah, that's really it for Creo Knight. But still, it's a pretty, pretty cool 
pretty cool ore. The sword is pretty OP as well. Okay. Now, last but not least, we have Freezerite. And Freezerite, it's the same thing like Meteorite, but let's get to it. So basically, to get the Freezerite Crystal, that is what this is, the Freezerite Crystal, you have to mine these, and again, you have to, these will randomly spawn, these are Meteors as well, and they will randomly spawn, and it'll be whatever Meteor, and again, they do spawn with a Meteor Creeper as well, so watch out with that, and you can kill them for red Meteor Gems. But yeah, the Freezerite Crystal is used to make the tools and armor sets, so again, you have to mine these with a Diamond Pick to make the tools. So it's the same recipe for every tool for the, uh, for the Freezerite. It's the Freezerite Crystals in a stick. So basically, whatever ore it is to make a normal pick or anything like that, it's just replaced with Freezerite. But yeah, so basically what the Freezerite Sword does is it freezes mobs when you hit them. It's pretty cool. I'll, exp I'll show it right here. Watch this. Bam. And he's frozen and walking. And it takes a lot of hits to kill the mob, though, but it does, it does free the freeze them so you can, you know, hit them and then hit them with another sword. It's not that OP. But again, all the other tools... I don't know what the hoes do for Meteorite and Freezerite, but again, the Shovel, Pickaxe, and Axe just mine their certain thing that they mine faster. Okay, now next up, let's go to the armor set for Freezerite. So basically, the armor set for Freezerite is just like Meteorite. You have to tap the ground to put it on, but let me show you how to craft it. So to craft the Freezerite stuff, you will need the Freezerite crystals. So yeah, so you just tap the ground to put it on, and bam! you have your Freezerite armor. So this, I don't know, there's no abilities for this, as of I know, but uh, I don't know any abilities for this, but the form will be, will be in the description below. So yeah, if he ever updates this. But that's the Freezerite armor. So yeah, that was it for the Freezerite armor. And yeah. So the last thing I want to showcase in this mod was the summoners. And the summoners are four summoners for meteors. So if you don't want to wait for meteor to spawn, you just use the summoners. So to craft the Creo Knight summoner, you will need eight Creo Knights and one meteor summoner. To craft the meteor summer, you need four four meteorite chips and one meteorite gem. Oh, and I forgot to show how to craft a meteor shield. To craft a meteor shield, you need three uh, meteorite chips, one redstone, and five cobblestone. And to craft the Freezerite, or the Freezerite summoner, you need eight Freezerite crystals and one meteorite. Summoner. So basically these just summon the meteorite that it's supposed to summon so you don't have to wait But it doesn't summon a meteor creeper, which is awesome to plus So you're gonna want to touch in the ground with the summoner and then wait for it to hit the floor and then bam So the Creo Knight summoner is pretty, you know It's pretty deadly so watch out when you're mining that stuff for Creo Knight Next up we have the meteor summoner meteor summoner same thing it goes down and then bam Meteorites everywhere now, last but not least, we have the Freezerite Summoners. You just tap the ground for each one of these, and then you'll see the block fall, and then BAM! So that's really it. These are just four summoners, so you can force the Meteor to come down, then just waiting for it. So yeah, guys, if you did like this, remember to drop a like if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more mod showcases, and remember to check out Wartape's channel, because he's an amazing mod maker, and he's in the Spanish side of this community, or the Pocket community. So yeah, so I'll see you guys later. It's from Desic45, and peace, guys. <laughs>